it's, what's interesting is that Sadie came up with this. Yeah. And then I'm demonstrating the, you know, making a graph. Sure. For them to measure. Right. And then making predictions. Right. And I, I look at that and, you know, I'm seeing sort and classify. I'm seeing literacy. I'm wondering, did you think that you would be in including all of those teaching and learning objectives in just one activity. Had you planned that that way? Well, so this is an activity that I had done okay. uh, maybe a week before. Uh -huh. And okay. this child went and wanted to replicate that activity uh, okay. and wanted to do it again. Sure. So it's a slightly different group of kids. Yeah. But it's just a great example of yeah. where you introduce something one time right. And they go back to it, especially when you keep it in the environment. Yeah. So I had done a small group with maybe one or two other children, and now yeah. it's become almost a large group activity sure. because everybody. Look at the engagement there. I mean, they're really staying with that. Yeah. Look at that. Totally invested. Yep. Wow. And she's counting them. Sure. But she's also quantifying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. I can see her subitizing there. Mm -hmm. Were you, did you know, I, I, I suppose you already knew that she could subitize. I, I, I'm just getting to know the kids at this point in this video. I well, mean, did you know This little girl was, that? this was her um, uh -huh. spring before kindergarten. Oh, okay. So she's got some pretty strong math skills here. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. and which is continued in school. She, mm -hmm. in kindergarten, she says she loves math. That's beautiful. So I love to feel like yeah. I got to be part of that. Yeah, right? Look at this. You know. Look at the literacy there, too. The mo Look, you said you wanted to learn about model writing. You probably didn't know you've been doing it. Right. Look at that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this Aww. is before I knew what yeah. shared writing was. Yeah. And yet, yeah, here, you've been doing it all this time. One of the things we talked about last time was your ITER scores. Right. And you mentioned, what did you talk to me about? Oh, that sometimes we were using the past tense, but not always future and past tenses. We, so we were pretty good at present, but the other ones. So I wanted you to come out today and see how we were doing on that. Great. Yeah, so I was able to do some just kind of quick tally marks as you were going. Some of the phrases I wrote down, but mostly I was just keeping track of um, when you were using different tenses. And you're right, so present tense, there was lots. I even stopped tracking it after a while because that's one we probably don't need to focus on and then um, fewer of uh, future and past mm -hmm. tense so um, that one it seems like though you you're more aware of it you were trying to kind of get them in there sneak sneak, sneak them in there yeah <laughs> I know I, I still find it difficult with the babies it's if, if they were older and they could talk back it would seem to be more natural but it's not as natural talking to a baby about did you go to Texas last week? Right. And it's kind of like, and they look at you. So, like, <laughs> I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one of the things I actually noted is that um, it doesn't necessarily have to be past tense like weeks or days ago. So sometimes it's even just as you're doing kind of a play-by-play, -play, which can be really natural with babies, like I see you doing this, and um, even just, oh, you grabbed that would be past tense, even okay. though it's just now. Okay. Still in the past, using those. Oh, um, that past sounds tense like a great. Words. That would be easy to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's also some prepositions you can kind of keep in your mind. So um, when you're talking with the babies, even some teachers kind of keep a little notepad of like, I was writing down um, you or we will, we are, we did, um, and you can kind of oh, okay keep those. That's are there times of the day that you find it more natural to narrate what they're doing the act, when they're playing like like when they're moving around and playing i think is more natural than especially for do you want down <laughs> do you want down okay there you go okay <laughs> you got down or did you get down mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay are you gonna go play somewhere else now all right, and there she goes. And there she goes. There she went. Perfect. <laughs> so it can it can come a little more naturally, but just like anything else in your practice, it takes, it takes practice. practice. Yeah, um, I find it easiest when you're just kind of narrating what they're doing. Okay. 
Um, and like you said, because they can't answer you, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a question, do you remember or did you? You can just kind of state what they okay. are doing or what they okay. have done. That makes sense. Um, and then some of them you, you did frequently, which was great. Like you said, you found. So when they were kind of digging through toys, you'd say, mm -hmm. oh, you found the ring or okay. oh, you found um, the fish. And I guess I don't see that always as past tense, but now I see that after we're talking about it, that that makes sense. Yeah, that you, yeah, yeah, absolutely, and that counts. So we tend to think as adults, we think of the past tense as like, especially what? the longer <laughs> we get we from the past, um, right. <laughs> we, we tend to think of it way back, but their lives are so short and everything is kind right. of right in their access. So. Right. Um, it really kind of works in the moment to still do. Right. And a lot of, um, for the future, we often talk about kit, talk with children about what we're going to do next. And so mm -hmm. that's a great opportunity too. I was thinking of starting like a, like a schedule board that said next and, or now and next. So that would be a, that would Perfect. be a way to do the start the future yeah. tense, like so that they would know what activity was coming next. So that would help me boost that, that future than if Perfect. they were using that. Yeah, that's great. Um, and a couple, I heard um, a couple moments where I'm going to do this. So you can do it for okay. yourself also. Okay. So not just necessarily what they're doing, but I'm going to go get this for you. Um, okay. Okay. Like, or it's time to, I'm going to go get your bottle. Right, okay. right, right. Yeah. So it's snaring what you're doing in the moment, but also then you're going to eat. Okay. Right? So it's that next step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Um, are there any other times when you can think of some hints that might help you? Well, I like that? these one hints and maybe like putting them up, like putting maybe like putting the phrases someplace so that we could cue to see them, like you know, like on a like on the cupboard doors or someplace so that we could we actually would look over there and go, oh, I could do that.